VTubing is a growing space on the online interwebs. It is the amalgamation of streamers, YouTube, and anime fans all blended together into a mixed space. Recently, there was a trend on Twitter with a debate as to how much VTubing can cost and how expensive different models and equipment can be. But there is also the difference between 2D and 3D VTubers. While 2D can look more anime, 3D is more accessible and cheaper to accomplish. Today I'll be showing how you can make your own 3D VTubing avatar for free using a program called Vroid. Hopefully you can end up looking like this instead of this. First thing you need to do is download Vroid from either the website or on Steam. Personally, I use the Steam version because it automatically updates and you can see the dev blogs with all the patch notes and updates there. Next, we'll be hopping onto an online marketplace called Booth. It is a great spot to find plenty of paid and free presets for your avatar. For this video, we'll be using free assets that allow commercial and personal use. And here we are on Vroid now. This is what the base screen looks like. Click on Create New and you can choose between feminine or masculine. In this case, we're going to click on masculine and wait for that to load. And once it's done, this is what your new base model looks like. Pretty basic. But the first thing we're going to do is adjust some of these parameters on the side so that it looks a bit more natural and more custom. Once you've tweaked your face a bit and you've adjusted some of the settings to make it look a bit more personal, you can come over to the left and change some of the different aspects of it. There's a bunch of presets, but you can go and change individual things you want, such as the irises. And here you can make your own custom ones, which you can find on Booth, or you can make them yourself. Once you're done customizing your face, you can come over to the expression editor and change how the different expressions look. We'll look at this a bit more in depth when we're optimizing it. All right, the next thing we're going to do is come over to the body. Here you can change how your base skin texture looks. By default, the texture is a bit plain and smooth looking. So the first thing we're going to get is a new skin texture. Now go into your web browser and type in booth.pm and you'll come to the home page. Now what we're looking for is a Vroid skin texture. So we'll type that into the search bar. Found this decent free texture here by Agama Witch. Got a lot of different body shades here. If we come down to the description, it says you can use them for your personal model and give credit. I like the look of the ivory one, so I'm going to get that. Click on download. You should see that this one here downloaded as a zip. And now we go back into Vroid and click on edit texture at the top right there. And you can see here, this is what the texture editor looks like. Now you right click on this, import, and go to where you downloaded it and then import the texture there. Save and overwrite that. And now go back to your face, click on skin, edit texture, and then import it if you have a face texture as well. Looks pretty good. Save that as well. All right, now that we've got the texture for the body, here you can adjust the parameters for the whole body to make it look a bit more custom as well. Once you've done adjusting the body for a bit and you're happy with how it looks, you can come over to the outfit and there's a bunch of whole sets here if you want to go for a pre-selected style already or you can come over here and get some individual pieces if you want some custom clothes you can come back on booth and search for Vroy clothes and there's a bunch of different options here just make sure that you set the price to zero and when you read the description that says that it's free for personal and or commercial use so for this character i'm thinking maybe a casual button-up shirt that's been rolled down I like the look of this shirt and for some pants get these ones they look pretty good for shoes, we'll get some classic converse with the pants, might just adjust them slightly. And now what you can do is you can edit texture and here you'll see a bunch of options. I'm gonna get rid of the neckties because I just want the shirt and we can change the color. Might go for something a bit darker. You know, that looks pretty good. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. You can adjust all the clothes options here on the right. Once you're happy with the clothes, it's time to have a look at the hair. Now there's a bunch of predetermined hairstyle sets here. If you come over to overall hair, there's a few more boyish looking options. There's some pretty good ones here and you can adjust the colors on the right. Might make it a bit darker. And same with the base hair. This is what goes underneath the hair layer. Already that looks pretty good. If you want a custom hair, just go over to custom and create a new one and then edit hairstyle. Now what a lot of people make the mistake of doing when they're first making a, a model is that they just go right in, they start just drawing hair, just drawing hair all over the head without looking at any of the settings. And then they get something like this and they call it a day. But this is not what you should do when you're starting out. Just like the clothings and other textures, you can find custom hair models on Booth. So we're going to go into Booth and have a look for some custom Vroid hair presets. So I found one here that's free, and it says it's free for personal and commercial use. To click on download, this one says it's a Vroid file, which is the avatar file that Vroid uses. And once you've downloaded it, go back to your model selection, make sure you save your work that you're working on, and then open the file that you downloaded. And here we have the hair model here that we downloaded go to the hairstyle and now you want to go to your overall hair here and save and export the hair so in this case just going to save its overall hair and then also come to the base hair and save and export that as well now what you're going to go is back to your original model you're working on come over to the hairstyle 
import, and then you've got the overall hair here. Click on wear now, and then go to the base hair, import, and wear now as well. And there we go, we've got the hair from Booth. This is actually one of the assets on my shop. So if you're interested, check out pixels.booth.pm. Got a bunch of free hair textures and working on some new models that will be coming out soon. Once you've successfully put the hair model on your head, what you can do is edit the physics of it. This hair I've got has already got a bunch of bone groups, but you can customize them here. You can auto generate or go through the groups manually and create them and you'll have options here on the right. But now if you click on this camera icon here on the right, I'll show you the posing editor. So you can see how your model looks. You click on poses, animations two for the males. You can see how it looks doing different poses. Not bad for free. Once you're fully satisfied with your model, exit out of this. Now, if you're satisfied with it, you can go to export and export as VRM. And here will give you the information about the, the model itself. You can reduce any of the polygons, materials, or bones if you want to optimize it for something such as VR chat. But once you're happy, click on export and then you have to give it a title. Once you've entered in all the details, scroll down and click on export and then save it where you want. And now you can go to your VTubing program such as BC Face, which I have here, and add your model. And there we have it. Our free B-Roid VTubing model, completely free, with a bunch of free assets from Booth. And there you have it, 100% free 3D VTubing model. Obviously, there's more that you can do to it, you could spend a lot more, and there's a couple things that you can do to optimize, which I'll have in a future video, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and comment down below and ask any questions you have. If you'd like to see another video on how to increase the performance and optimize your model, check out this video here, and I'll see you in the next one.